this video, let us look at parasitic blepharitis or lash infestation. There are parasites here. Let us first look at where we are. We are looking at blepharitis, inflammation of eyelid. So, many inflammatory disorders are there in that we are looking at blepharitis. Blepharitis is like, let us remember a subacute chronic inflammation of the lid margin. They are talking about the lid margin. Extremely common it is. Bacteria can cause this or uh, dandruff can cause it or uh, uh, mybomian glands uh, being blocked can cause it, cause it or now parasites. Parasite can cause it. Now, let us look at parasitic. It is also called that lash infestation, lash, lash infestation because parasite means you will use the word infestation and uh, here you can see lash, right, lash. These are the lashes, that is, that is what is there in the lid margin, what is there in the lid margin, lash. So, lash infestation, here there will be parasites, okay, there will be lice, eggs of these, all that. So, blepharitis associated with infestation of lashes by lice is not uncommon. So, if a person is living in poor hygienic conditions, then he can have lice in his lashes. The lice infestation includes what and all? There is a theriasis palpebrum, which is the infestation of the theri, therus pubis, okay, therus pubis, that is crab blouse. So, there can be uh, this crab blouse, which is supposed to be something pubis, but it is uh, affecting the lash, palpebrum. Okay, it is most commonly seen in adults who acquired a sexually transmitted infection. Okay, so all this makes sense now. Pubis and sexually transmitted infection and all that. Okay, this is that crab louse. Okay, and it is sitting where? In the eyelash. This is one of the problems. Okay, just one of the problems uh, that can be there in the eyelash. But there is others. Pediculosis also is there. It refers to the infest infestation by pediculus humanus corporis or capitis, head louse. Head louse, I think we know how it looks. Pediculosis caused by this head louse. It's also called as pediculus humanus corporis or capitis. If heavily infested, the lice may spread to involve lashes. So, from the head, it will come to the lash. That is why we are studying here in blepharitis. These lice anchoring the lashes with their claws may be seen. So, you can see these lice holding on to these lashes. Then, nits eggs may be seen on opales, as opalescent pearls adherent to the base of the cilia. So, to the base of the cilia, you can see, let us say this is the base of cilia, you can see opalescent pearls, not pearls, pearls, which are nothing but the knit, nits or the eggs of these lice. Nits eggs may be seen as opalescent pearls adherent to the base of cilia. So, guys, what are we looking at? Uh, parasitic blepharitis lash infestation. We saw why it is affected because of theory, acid, palpebrum, pediculus, etc. So, let us <coughs> just look at few more details from the textbook. So, this is um, associated with infestation of lashes by lice. It is not uncommon. And there are two things we already mentioned. Clinical features, what this person will have? <coughs> Uh, this person will have, is it too scary to see a very big image? Okay. So, this person will have uh, chronic blepharitis, chronic follicular conjunctivitis. Everywhere they were saying pap papillar, uh, right, papillary conjunctivitis, but here they are using the word follicular conjunctivitis. Okay. Then symptoms include chronic irritation. So, these people will have it's a chronic condition. So, they can have chronic irritation, itching, burning, and mild lacrimation. And <clears throat> the signs will be lid margin are red and inflamed. Lice anchoring the lashes with their claws may be seen on slit lamp examination. You can see the lice anchoring with their claws, okay. And you can see eggs, nits, um, which are like looking like opalescent pearls, which are adherent to the base of the cilia. Conjunctival congestion, follicles uh, may be seen in long standing cases. Yes, they said what follicles? What type of conjunctivitis did they say here? Follicular conjunctivitis, that is one follicular follicles follicular conjunctivitis <clears throat> how will you treat you can mechanically remove the lice and nits with forceps my but how many of them can you remove application of antibiotic ointment and yellow mercuric oxide yellow yellow mercuric oxide and Antibiotic you will give 
yellow mercuric oxide 1 percent you will apply all this to the lid margin and the lashes delousing the patient family members clothing bedding you delouse the entire family their clothes their bed everything so <clears throat> parasitic blepharitis lash infestation so this antibiotic yellow mercuric oxide you have to give it to all others also is it or for that there will be a separate treatment right lice uh, head lice how will you treat like that head lice you will have to treat separately uh, for that you will have to look at the louse uh, that part of it this is only for the eye part of it parasitic blepharitis lash infestation we have started with uh, what um, what are we looking at parasitic lash infestation blepharitis uh, in this what and all are the causes you have to write two main names theriasis palpebrum that is nothing but crab louse oh sorry theriasis palpebrum is the disease it is caused by theri theris theras pubis theras pubis okay and that's nothing but crab louse so let's remember the name of the pediculus humanus corporis or capitis it could be either the body lice or the head lice is it so corporis is what body right so say these names theras pubis theras pubis pediculus humanus cor humanus corporis or capitis theras pubis okay then um, uh, you can see you can see these lice eggs and all and how will you treat you will the normal standard treatment will be um, antibiotic yellow mercuric oxide one person but in addition to this you have to treat the whole family treat family then you remove the head lice also then you also uh, clean their ask them to clean their bedding clothes etc and what else you can mechanically also try to remove these that's all for now in parasitic blepharitis lash infestation. Bye-bye.